Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, to answer a, a series of questions from uh, viewers concerning the uh, Windows 10 security as you know do you need a third party antivirus and all of that it's a question that comes back regularly I like to answer so first one um, just want to say that I don't really care what antivirus you use because it is not what defines the security of your computer. There's still way too many people that still, as of today, think that the antivirus is the way to go to protect yourself on the internet, which is totally false. So um, if you pay for an antivirus, you're wasting your money. It's as simple as that. Um, you don't need to pay for an antivirus. Uh, the Windows security is uh, good enough and you know what? People that say that they've been bitten by a virus is because you do stuff that you shouldn't do. Security is you, not that software. That's always been like that. Uh, as long as I've been a tech guy, the people that were careful with their computers made sure that the Windows was updated, never had viruses or problems, never. Those that were bitten were always those that took a chance in clicking, doing something, they should not have done. It's as simple as that. Uh, you know, we're looking at uh, the November 2019 update and some of you have had a block because of Avast and AVG that were incompatible. And now it's fixed, of course, but it just tells you one thing, okay? You're better off with the Windows security for a simple reason, because it's part of Windows. It always is updated properly within Windows 10 with the different feature updates so it's always okay and uh, like I said it's good enough when I see people post oh well you know that thing isn't good I it detected viruses yeah what the hell are you doing with your computer if you got viruses you're doing something wrong it's not the antivirus problem because it's more and more of a um, of a fact that a lot of malware out there is now undetected by pretty much every antivirus and you got to be careful many antiviruses will detect stuff that aren't viruses but they're gonna kind of tell you that oh there's a problem with this file or this thing or yeah it might not be a virus it might be simply saying that for some reason there's something you've got you know there are some programs out there that you install that work fine but sometimes have kind of an adware in it because they want to display ads when you use it uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing depending on what it is as a, as, as a software, but you know, of course it's a bad practice. Companies shouldn't do that, but it can happen. So the most part is that you're the number one security. It's so super important to understand that. You're the number one security. You are what will decide if you have viruses or not on your PC, not the antivirus you have. Uh, you know, I always laugh every time somebody posts, well, you know, I got this big gun antivirus software because Windows security is no good. It's perfect. It works well and it does what it needs to do. If you've got a virus, you don't want to blame, not the antivirus on your PC. It's as simple as that. And there's way too many people that still think that they need to pay for an antivirus or they need to have, you know, some big gun protections. You don't. If you're careful, I don't have viruses. I never have viruses on my PC. It's something that is not a problem uh, because I don't, you know, click on everything and download everything I see and click email attachments when I don't even know where they how they come from and stuff like that. You know, it's basic security. And once again, you are the security. So, um, you know, Windows. I still stand by it, and most security experts will tell you Windows security is enough in Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.